G'day everyone, how are we all doing? So the official gameplay trailer for The Sims 4 Horse Ranch just dropped. Well, it dropped last night for me. Stayed up to 1am to watch that and I was thoroughly disappointed that I did. <laughs> I'll tell you why in a second, but there are some things that I do love about it. It's just that the good things are kind of overshadowed by the bad things. Also, I apologize for the lighting. It's because of my blinds. This is the only time I can film today. The construction in, like, the apartment, uh, not below me, the one under that, is very loud. So I'm filming when I can, and that turns out to be right now. The sun isn't super bright at the moment, so you can't really tell. But once it brightens up, you'll just see lines across my face. <laughs> Anyway, I'm rambling. Let's get on with this. My first issue is once again the noddle images appear in game. Take a look at the title. Official gameplay trailer. If not all images appear in the game that you're showing in your official gameplay trailer, then you're like misleading people. This trailer isn't a gameplay trailer, it's another cinematic trailer. I'm really annoyed about that. Right here, this is something that I fucking love. It's such a small thing, but it's so good that they included it. Trimming the horse's, the horse's hooves? <laughs> Why does that sound weird to me? <laughs> Trimming the horse's hooves, cleaning them. I'm guessing you gotta be able to put horseshoes on them and stuff. It's such a small thing, but it means so much. Because it's the small things that make this game great. It's just that usually they ignore the small things. But this, this, this is what I love. So I'm gonna stop here for this point. My biggest problem with this trailer is that a lot of what they're showing, we already know. They're showing us the horses going over the jumps and around the barrels. We saw that in the last trailer. We don't need to see it again. Like that, that part right there. That was literally in the last trailer. Why are we watching it again? Her getting bucked off the horse. This I like, that other sims can be interacting with the horses that you're on. That's really cool to see. It's a nice little bit of detail. This is pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this building sequence here, I am actually really a fan of. It shows you some of the items, the new walls, floors, painted ceilings, maybe, perhaps, by chance. Look at this dude. Why the fuck did I do this? <laughs> Fuck it out. See, like right here, they're showing off the baby horses again, but we've already seen it. And you haven't shown anything new with them. We've seen you pet the baby horse, we've seen you bottle feed the baby horse. That's cool. What else can you do with them? Is that it? You could have shown some interactions between the baby and like the uh, the mother. That would have been really cool and really cute, but you didn't. Same thing with the goats, we're just seeing the same things. Oh, and also, I was right. I was right in my other video. It's actually my most popular video, I think. No, no, it's not my most popular one. It might be. I can't remember now <laughs> which video it was, but I suggested this some, some guy in the trailer watering the crops as the, the the ranch hand. Well, why am I struggling to speak so bad today? Oh my God. And it was, yeah, I was right about that. So pat on the back me. This is such a cool little bit of detail. The little, uh, what are they called? Pygmy goats or miniature goats? And she's like counting sheep as she's about to fall asleep. That's so cool. I would never have thought of something like that. That's creativity. And then we're shown more stuff about the wine. And this is where everyone's getting really pissed off with this expansion pack because it doesn't feel like an expansion pack. Expansion packs are supposed to like change up the game completely and add a shit ton of gameplay. But so far, all the gameplay that they've shown us is the horses, the winemaking, and that's basically it. Also, I'm not a fan of the winemaking for this pack. I feel like winemaking would have been really good in the My Wedding Stories, or even the Cottage Living pack, but why are we putting winemaking into like a Wild West pack? You could have done moonshine, that would have been so much cooler. You could have even made it funny and have like the, the prison moonshine where you make it in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it out. Oh god. No, but that would have been cool. It fits in with the theme. Why are we having wine in a Wild West pack? We should have had moonshine. That's my opinion. You may differ. I don't care. Apples and oranges, you know. <laughs> or in this screenshot, apples and fucking grapes. <laughs> Yay, so just some more of that ranch hand that I mentioned. Uh, looks like he's doing a really shit job. Oh my god, he's done- Look at the fucking weeds on this shit. <laughs> That could be a problem with the ranch hand if it's just like kind of fucking broken. I know sometimes the uh, maid for me is broken where they'll just go home before they've done everything and it's like why I'm paying you to clean it. Clean the fucking house please. I'm hoping that's not a thing with the ranch hand as well where he'll just get halfway through or just like water everything and be like all right I'm good, see ya. And yeah, now we're back at winemaking again. Like, why? Show us something different. And even if you're not gonna show us a different gameplay aspect, at least show us more in depth of this gameplay aspect. We don't need to see you stomping on the grapes for the sixth time. Show us you storing the wine for like the aging process so it's worth more. I'd rather watch that than watch this fucking person stomp on grapes for the, like the a millionth time. Like here they showed something which is actually kind of cool. The wine can bring uh, ghosts back to like, living <laughs> or like a certain type of wine oh sorry guys 
I've been saying wine this whole time. It's not wine, guys, it's nectar. Because that makes sense. No, I don't care. I'm just shitting on the game because it's so PG-13. <laughs> I mean, I don't see what's so bad about having alcohol in a game. <laughs> just stop any life stage that isn't like young adult from drinking it. There you go. That might already be a thing. I'm, I can't even remember. But like, why do we need to name it Nectar? Gee, I'm rambling on a whole fucking lot today. I'm so sorry, guys. I also feel like I'm bitching about everything. I really don't like being this negative. I still have high hopes for this pack, but like, uh, it just feels off with what they're showing us. They're very quiet about it. It's kind of just like they're not showing us a whole lot and maybe because it doesn't have a whole lot. From like a capitalistic standpoint, this pack makes so much sense to be an expansion pack and cars for The Sims 4 would as well because they've been asked for for so long and that they're hard to implement horses. It only makes sense that they push that value up high to the highest, which would be expansion pack. But then they've done all that and then just kind of forgotten about the rest, it feels like. Or because they put so much work into the horses they feel like, well, now we don't have the time or the resources to spend on the other stuff, but we'll still call it an expansion pack. It's great for the company, it's shit for the consumer, because you're getting less while paying more. But it's just kind of how shit runs. And that's pretty much it. That's really all they've shown us. I watched this live and the hype in the uh, chat, like the live chat, was super high. There were a few people spamming L, which was hilarious, <laughs> but the hype was real. And it was pretty dead quiet while the thing was going. And then once we got to this screen, the chat exploded with people saying, is that it? And I had the same fucking thought. I was like, this is a gameplay trailer. Where's the gameplay? It's another cinematic trailer. Side note, I really love the amount of people that were like, guys, just torrent the game. Just pirate the game. Yes, pirate it, please. We should not be getting this little shit for the price of something that's like more than half of a triple A title. They push these out every six months. Triple A games take a couple years, and recently Triple A games have been doing pretty shit as well, but that's a whole other thing. Like, they are pushing out content that they price at close to Triple A value every six months. There's no way they can hold that up. That's why the packs feel lackluster. You're paying more than what you're getting. That's why I'm a fan of pirating this game. I'm gonna be real with you, I haven't bought a single pack since City Living, and I don't feel ashamed for that. Just the three packs that I had legitimately bought, which was the base game, the uh, get to work and see living. That was 150 Australian dollars for me. For those three packs, that was back when the base game wasn't free. That, oh, this might've been back 2016, 2017. But 150 bucks for three packs. I'm pretty sure not including the free packs, there's 67 packs that's including kits in The Sims 4. In Australian dollars, that is well over $1,000, probably over 1,500. In fact, the entire price of all the packs is probably more than my entire PC. I spent 1,200 Australian on my PC, built it myself. Uh, if you wanna see what parts I use, you can look in my about section uh, on my channel. And I can't imagine people paying $1,500 for all this. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't feel like $1,500 worth of stuff. In fact, nowhere near. Anyway, I've been ranting for a long time now. For those of you that are still here and have watched to this point, drop a comment saying this expansion pack should have been called the Root and Tootin expansion pack so that I know that you watched to the end. <laughs> because seriously, Horse Ranch, Root and Tootin, it's just better. Anyway, if you guys like this video, please drop a like, helps out heaps especially as I'm a small channel. Also, we recently got past 40 subscribers. Yes! I'm over the moon about that. I never imagined having 40 subscribers. I just started doing this for fun. My first video was a fucking clickbait video. <laughs> That's unlisted now. You won't be able to find it. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed by that. If you like what I'm doing, why don't you subscribe? Because hey, how cool would it be to say, I subscribed to this person before he even hit 50 subscribers. Anyway, guys, I'll see all of you in the next one. Take care.